Sunday in the hospital. Let's go. Hello, it's Sunday, and today I'm going to eventually tell you what's been going on with the life, uh, house, job, whole nine yards. But yes, I am at work in the room with the light from hell, apparently. So I'm on hematology consults. It is um, tough because I'm bad at hematology, but it hasn't been bad. It's just me and the attending today. I have uh, six new people on the list this morning. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I gotta learn them real fast. I have no idea what time we're rounding. It's eight o'clock right now. It could be 9.30, it could be two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know. So that's not a lot of fun, but it gives me plenty of time to learn these people. Damn it. I just got a page, which is probably another <laughs> consult. So that makes seven probably. This light is killing me, by the way. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually killing me. So I'm gonna get to work and we'll do some more talking a little bit later. All right, it's two o'clock, nine new patients seen, a gazillion consult notes written, lots of scribbling on the paper down there that you can't see because HIPAA is still a thing. And now I get to go home. Uh, a little bit longer day than I thought it was gonna be, but it happens. Yesterday was, as far as a work day goes, first of all, it was Saturday, so, you know. Second of all, it's kind of a joke. So, <laughs> karma, or something, so. All right, two o'clock, getting out of here. Still not a bad day, but, uh, yeah, that was it? Like six hours, meh, yeah. less than a half day. All right, so it's about an hour later. Kyrie and I have gone through our storage locker and grabbed just about everything that we're gonna keep, but now I have to get all of this crap in there. She's upstairs packing away the dishes, so I get to do the oaf things and do all the, well, this, frankly. So, three, two, one. See, wasn't that easy. You didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, neither did I. All right, time to get rid of the stuff. This is a bag from when I played youth hockey. West River Wolves, Metro Boston League, AAA. Ugh. Bah. There's just so much crap in there that I don't even know what it is. This, Ugh. they're old Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It uh, peels open and it's got lights in it, but served its purpose. The one thing I am gonna keep from our trash bag or box or bin or whatever are these. These are the first uh, Christmas stockings that we ever had. So, they stay. All right, so our storage facility is now empty and we have officially run out of bubble wrap. So we're off to Home Depot for bubble wrap, but I thought I might take this opportunity to talk to you about our new jobs. And where are we going, sweetheart? Vanderbilt. We're going to Vanderbilt. Don't sound so excited. So we're going to Vanderbilt. We both got outpatient jobs. It's the same job, pretty much, but at different places. When we interviewed, we were like, yeah, we'd actually like to be at the same spot. But they were like, uh, mm, nah, two miles away from each other. Three miles, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe three miles away from each other. Probably better for our vacations to go one way. Not hungry, that would be good. <laughs> She's hungry. Wait, what's better for our vacation schedule? Uh, we'll do our guys yeah, probably. I think what's more is the workload is going to be significantly less than I'm currently used to and better for what Kiri is currently used to. So if she works mostly overnights, I have the whole resident shtick, average of six days a week. Now it's four days of clinic per week with one day of administration time, which means finishing notes, calling patients back, updating them on their lab results, etc. That day can be done from home and weekends off. I got my weekend call schedule, like all the phone calls into the in the office, and I work two weekends. You got your schedule? I did get my schedule. So I work two weekends. Um, that's the only schedule I got though, just the call schedule. I think they said we take our own call. That's why I didn't get one. <laughs> We take our own call. We don't have a bed. Like, I just need 
Well, during the week, we we deal with our own patients. Um, you know, morning, noon, night, whole nine yards. It goes to the nursing pool and then to us if it's something that needs to be dealt with by us. Um, and then the weekends for my practice, I guess, you know, two weekends a year for Curie's, who knows, we'll, we'll see. It'll be different in that it's not the hospital, it's just cycling through patients over and over and over again. But it's exciting. We're hungry, but we need bubble wrap. Alright. Ah. Well, mission failed successfully for three of these things worth the bubble wrap. It's 99 bucks. So yeah, not expecting that, but what you do. But what's more pressing is food. Are we doing enough now? Yeah, okay. We'll do enough enough. Now that uh, strength is slowly returning from our giant bowls of Middle Eastern goodness, I figured we'd talk about the new house. In one of my last videos, I mentioned that the first house that we almost bought was a disaster. Ooh, I forgot the pizza bread. So we didn't buy it. So we needed a new house and we found one. So this one is actually bigger. Uh, the plot of land is smaller, but it's like still a half an acre. Hi, Bob. Bob's on there. The scavenger. The scavenger. Bob always looks below your mouth because she thinks you're gonna drop food. Because when Bruin eats, he gets everything he can in his mouth and doesn't have cheek, so stuff naturally drops, and she is right there to get it. Uh, house was built in like 2005 or six or something, as opposed to like 1956? the- 1956? Yeah, 1956 <laughs> the other one. Uh, ceilings are a lot higher, thank God, and everything just looks newer, so it's much nicer. It's still close to our work. Um, I think this one's like two miles from your work and maybe four or five from mine. There's a pretty decent sized backyard that's already fenced in and it's pretty close to a bunch of different parks so we're happy about that. We move in beginning of July and as you can tell behind Kyrie, there are boxes and there are literally boxes throughout this entire house. We're gonna go live with Uncle Derek for a couple weeks. Kyrie may live with her friend that's closer to where she works but very excited to go on vacation. Need it a lot, very badly. Can we leave this house? What? And to leave this house. Oh, and to leave this apartment, yeah. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I'm pretty sure this is a lot better than Chipotle. Yeah. We went to Paris a couple years ago. There's this, I think it's an Israeli uh, falafel stand. Best falafels I've ever had in my life. Among the best things I've ever eaten. And this is coming from a big meat eater. It was unbelievable. I think we were there for how many days? Like four? Yeah. And I had it seven times. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Her brother and I would go there for dessert. Alright, it's 5.30. We're gonna eat. Kiri has got her glasses on, so it's almost time for bed, so best of luck getting any more packing done. And uh, see you next video.